All right, check these people's stuff out in my dirty fingers. Yeah. Um, been working with that hydraulic stuff. Metro Sprocket and Gear out of Middle Othian, Texas. These guys came here to my place, helped me get my, my, uh, my uh, expander sorted out. I was really having issues. Okay, the original motor was making a vibrating, roaring noise. I mean, it's been doing it for quite a while now. It was just like, oh my goodness, it's gonna come apart. <laughs> Alan's like almost scared of it and I'm almost scared of it. It's like, Argh! making this crazy sound. Now, it was like the, the shaft vibrating inside there, making all kinds of racket. So anyway, I bought this one off of Amazon about a year ago. Um, it came, it was, the tank on the back was dented. And I complained and said, hey man, I wanna return this. And they were like, don't, don't return it. Don't worry about it, just keep it. And we'll just give you a refund. I was, I was like, okay. Now, there's not even a hole in the tank. It's just dented, it's dented in. You know, and this thing costs $600. So I was like, I'm not paying $600 for something that's all dented in. And as I said, they said, we don't wanna ship it back to us. You just keep it. I'm like, wow. So I got this replacement pump for free. Yeah, for free. So it's been sitting next to the expanding unit for a year, maybe a year and a half, because the expanding unit, it kept making that noise, but it kept doing its job. And I try to get all the life I can out of something before I just discard it. Uh, you know, I don't know, that's just how I am, rather than just go, oh, I'm gonna replace this thing and make it new, and where it doesn't make that noise anymore. I had the mindset it wasn't leaking or anything, it was just making an irritating noise. I had this mindset that, you know, I'm just gonna keep on using it until it actually doesn't work. And then I'll switch over to the new pump system and I'll have it there, you know. So that's what my intention was for buying the pump. So, as I said, I got it for free. So I just set it next to it. I didn't even know if it worked or did not work or if it leaked or did not leak. I wasn't even certain until I put the fluid in it because the tank was, had paint busted off of it and it was actually crinkled at, like where it landed on the corner of the tank. So I wasn't sure if it was gonna leak or not. Uh, but it's been there for, like I say, a year, year and a half, sitting there next to the deal. Well, the other day I turned on the unit, it flipped the breaker, stopped working. So I flipped the breaker and turned it back on and flipped the breaker again. And it was a it was a it was a race from me to the breaker box back and forth for a few minutes there, flipping the breaker, uh, trying to make that thing work. And, and finally I just said, you know what, before I burn the building down, <laughs> I'm gonna just say that this thing doesn't work anymore. Uh, I guess the capacitor or something on that motor finally went and it wouldn't start up the motor. So, but anyway, done deal. So I took it out set it to the side, pulled all the stuff out, cleaned up the unit all, with, got all the hydraulic fluid off of it. And I got this new unit that's sitting on the floor here. I don't even think you can see it, it's yellow. Um, got this new unit uh, the, and I hooked it up to it and it worked, worked for a couple of days and it did not leak fluid. I was like, wow, how lucky am I to get that for free? And then today it stops working and my world was crushed. So. I called on Metro Gear and Sprocket. These guys here, that I showed you, Metro Sprocket and Gear, excuse me, I said it wrong again. Uh, called this guy, uh, Jerry Robertson, and he, actually I went over there and his son was there, Brian, and he said, uh, you know, get, send those pictures over to me and I'll show them to my dad and see what he says. And, and, and I said, you know, even if you have to sell me a new pump or something, it's of higher quality than the one I have, and y'all can rehook it up or whatever, I'll buy it from you. And he says, well, I'll tell my dad, and he'll, he'll get back with you when, when he gets back from the service call. You know, uh, he, Brian's been in the business many years too. I mean, he's, he, he knows what's going on as well, but uh, regardless, very good experience with these guys. Jerry came over here to the house, deals with it for just a minute, and it's working. He says, you just have to reset this little deal right here on the end. He grabbed the Allen wrench and reset it and showed me how what, what it was. 
and how the valve worked and the, and the and and wow, there we go, it, it's doing it. You know, he's fixed it for me. And and then when I say how much do you, do I owe you? you no, nah, you owe me nothing, man. <laughs> That's saying something. That's good people right there. That that's that's the kind of people if you want to do business with, you know, uh, and that's the kind of people that you do want to pay. You know, I did give him, I gave him his twenty dollars for for stopping by here, but because he was not going to take it. I don't need any money. And I said, no man, please take it. You know, hell, you know, uh, you, you did something for me. I don't, I don't expect that for free. You know, uh, he wasn't going to resist it too much. You know, man, I didn't let him. I figured, you know what, gas is very expensive, and you took time time, which is worth a lot more than the gas or any of that other stuff, to come over here and try to make me, get me back working right. Uh, people don't care about your time. People don't really care about your energy. People don't care about much anything except what's going on in their own lives. And that company right there is the kind of company that keep little companies like me going. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a kind fella, and I highly recommend if you've got some kind of cylinder problem in hydraulics and you're around the Dallas area, Check them out. I mean, they, they, they can rebuild, you know, I've seen uh, backhoe stuff in there. I've seen big, large, big, large cylinders that, that you know, they do all kinds of stuff. So, um, you know, check them out. Uh, that's the kind of people you want to do business with. You know, kind, good hearted people. And, and that seems like what that's kind of, the kind of business he runs over there. So that's, that's saying something, you know, it really is. That's really saying something. But, um, Thanks for checking in with me today. Uh, I don't know if I said, Alton just left a minute ago. He's headed out for, well, he's headed home. Tomorrow he's going on a cruise. He is so excited. He, I don't know exactly where all the destinations are, but he's gonna be gone for seven days of fun and relaxation. I told him, man, if you put me on that boat for seven days, I'd feel like I was a parakeet in a cage. You know, I just, I wouldn't feel cooped up. I would, I'd probably wanna stay in my room and be like, I'm just not that, I'm a little sociable, but not a lot sociable. I don't like to be around a lot of people. Uh, so I don't know if I'd really enjoy it. I'd love seeing the stuff that you would see when you go into a place, into a place like that, but yeah, I don't know that I'd like all the some of the people. You know, that's, I'm, I'm different people, different, different strokes for different folks, right? So, uh, but I'm just excited for him. He looks very happy. He was so happy, man. He was kind of glowing. Gave him his check, gave me a little teeny bonus, and, and, and he was like, he was happy. He's going to have a great time, you know. Um, someday I'll do that. Have a great time. <laughs> but today, it's probably going to be a painting here in just a second. I've got, like I say, about, let's see, 20 on the rack there that need to be painted. So, uh, in the floor... Yeah, I got a little bit going on on the floor, too. Let me see. We're busy today. Making it happen. So, uh, if you're interested in RLS exhaust, bear with me. Uh, sometimes we have little things like that that happen, and we have to figure it out. Uh, and luckily, we got some good people around that can help us figure that stuff out, right? So, uh, hey, don't ever forget, if you need someone's help, I ask them. They probably won't hesitate to ask you when they need help, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Hey, um, rlsexhaust.com. If you're interested in any of my products, you know, you know, I got a large array there. And it's fixing to grow even more. I got a couple ideas in the works. But uh, uh, I did add that new Echo Series for the F3, F3S. I did add the outer grills. Uh, and I'm fixing to send a couple of those out, freebies to to a couple of my, my guys that I just like, you know, on YouTube, I'm gonna get, I'm, not for them to make videos, just for, but but they probably will, you know, that's kind of how that works. Uh, to see what they think about them, I'm already psyched about them. Again, you can see them on the website and pictures of them. Um, screw, you put two screws in them to hold them on. It's very, pretty simple installation. You do have to have a drill, you do have to have a drill bit. You, have, you know, you drill the holes, you put the screws through the holes, and, Put the nuts on the back. I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. Uh, hardware is included. Many color options. So, uh, check me out, rlsexhaust.com. See if I got something for you. If I don't, I'm sorry. 
I can't please everybody. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. <laughs>